what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to the video in today's episode i'm gonna show you guys 10 awesome features in age of empires mobile that you cannot find in call of dragons or the rise of kingdoms the game is in the early access stage it has been released in a few select countries canada being one of them if you are still new to the channel make sure you subscribe for more content like this turn on that bell notification and never miss out like the video share it with your friends drop some comments down below let's get into it All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Age of Empires. It's a brand new city strategy game that is about to come out very soon. This is the early access version. I am not sure if everything is going to carry over to the official version that is just around the corner. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys the 10 awesome features that I like in this game. These features are not available in Rise of Kingdoms or the Call of Dragons. I play a lot of Call of Dragons right now. I just wish some of these features were added into Call of Dragons. Here is my progress for this game so far. I have made it to VIP level 3. I have logged in for 7 days straight. Let's also check out my town center. I am almost getting to town center level number 16. So I have made some good progress in the game right now. I'm going to show you guys 10 awesome features. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. We're going to begin by going straight to the Alliance section to see what is going on for the first few features of the game. If you take a look over here, these are the gifts. And as you can see, the advanced gifts, you have two ways of claiming everything. You can claim them individually or you can claim the whole thing by clicking claim all. When it comes to Call of Dragons, you cannot do this. In Call of Dragons, they make you claim premium rewards in increments of 10. Sometimes when you have about 500, it is very, very difficult to claim all of them. It takes too much time. Over here, you just click once and you claim everything. It is pretty nice. While we're still in the Alliance, let's go over to the next awesome feature that I like. As you can see here, you can see the number of players online. Right now, I am in the core members, which is the officials. But a few days ago, I was in the senior members and I was still able to see how many players we have online which is awesome now in this game it allows you to toggle a setting from the settings it will show if you are online or not you can choose whether you want your teammates to see if you are online or not however you can see the number of people online which is really awesome it is available for almost everyone in the alliance i kind of like this feature Moving on to the next feature, we're going to go straight to the hero section and we see what is going on. As of right now, there are so many commanders in the game that they have released and they are pretty cool. The one thing that I like about commanders in this game is that the game developers have put the tutorial section for each commander. This tutorial section is going to show you how to pair up these heroes with all the other commanders that are available in the game. As of right now in this game, you can pair up three commanders together. As you can see here, this one is Richard I. You can get him from the wheel spin. Now you see all the different ways you can pair up Richard with all the other commanders here. You also have some nice information written here at the bottom. It helps you know how to pair up these commanders. This is very good for people who are brand new to the game and they don't know what to do. You can see exactly how you can switch up these commanders and pair them up. To get the best value i really like this feature before we get out of the commander section let's go over to the commander skills as well in this game you can pretty much upgrade each skill individually so let's upgrade this one boom we got it to the next level if you want to focus on the second skill you can upgrade this second skill as well actually the third skill or you can go to the fourth skill and upgrade it as high as you want this is a very, very nice feature to have in the game. In Call of Dragons and Rise of Kingdoms, you cannot upgrade each skill individually. You have to deploy your talents and just hope that it goes in the correct place. Over here, you can upgrade everything one by one. Let's move on to the next awesome feature. And this one, we're going to see it right from the city. This building right here is the university. It is the equivalent of the research center. I can do two things at once in this building. I can upgrade this building to push its level up. And at the same time, I can be doing research in the research center. 
This feature is not available in Rise of Kingdoms and Call of Dragons. In Rise of Kingdoms, if you are upgrading the research center, you cannot do any research in that building. You have to finish upgrading first and then you do the research. In Age of Empires, it allows you to do both. You can upgrade the building while doing research as well. As of right now, I have maxed it out to level 15. I'm just waiting for the town center to get to level 16. Then I will be upgrading the university to the next level. Moving on to the next building that can allow you to do this as well is going to be the training camps. We have four different training camps here for the four different troop types. You can upgrade the training camp while training troops at the same time. Again, another awesome feature that you can only find in Age of Empires Mobile, not available in Rise of Kingdoms or the Call of Dragons. The next feature that we're going to check out is going to be how to train troops or how to use your speed ups in the game. So let's go to the town center and see how we can speed this up. When we hit speed up, this is the town center. We can now hit the speed up item right here. This game allows you to pretty much use the quick use to speed up everything at once. You don't need to click each speed up individually. It's going to collect the speed ups, speed up everything, and then give you back the excess speed up, which is awesome. As you can see here, it says excess speed up time will be returned to your items. It is fantastic. You can do this when you're training a lot of troops in this game. In Call of Dragons or Rise of Kingdoms, it is very, very difficult to train 30 million power. It's going to take you a lot of time. But over here, you have this one click feature that makes things so easy. Let's go here, train troops. First of all, I'm going to claim the troops. We're going to hit train. Now let's speed this up. I can either click individually or I go with the quick use. And it's going to show me which speed ups I'm going to be using if I am satisfied with it. I'm going to hit quick use. Should I remove this out? Let me keep it like that. And when I hit the quick use, it has paired up everything. It is fantastic. Just one click. Everything is done. I really, really like this feature. It is one of the features that I would like to see in Call of Dragons or Rise of Kingdoms. This is going to be awesome, guys. What do you think? Let me know down below. On to the next one. Let's go straight to the map. And we see what you can do on the map with all the barbarians available. So the first thing you do, you can go to this search button. As you can see here, these are all the different types of barbarians available on the map. You can choose a specific one to destroy depending on the troop types that you want to use. For example, if you are a cavalry main, you can train five cavalry and, and then just look for barbarian archers and just kill them from the map. This is super fantastic. In Call of Dragons, you cannot do anything like this. When you search for Darkling, it shows you everything that is nearby. This one shows you the specific one that you want to go for. So we're going to keep this going. We're going to hit the search button. We're going to go on to the next features. So now I can hit attack. These are the next awesome features in Age of Empires you cannot find everywhere. So you can hit multi-select. And if you look on the right here, we have three different settings. We have the auto return to bring back all your trips to the city. And then we have the synchronized pace. This is going to make all your legions move together at the exact same pace. Cavalry are usually faster than everybody else. But with this feature, it's going to reduce the speed of the cavalry, bring everybody together and they move together and attack at the same time. And then we have the second feature, which is known as the spearhead. The spearhead is going to decide which one of your legions attacks the enemy first. This is one of the best features that I like in this game. For example, I like to use Richard as the tank. Therefore, I would make him the spearhead. When we get to the Darkling, all the other legions are going to wait for Richard to come and hit the Darkling. And then they are going to hit the Barbarian. I am mixing up barbarians and darklings. They are the same thing. In Call of Dragons, it's called darklings. In Rise of Kingdoms and Age of Empires, it is called barbarians. So the spearhead features is super awesome. I just hope they bring it to Call of Dragons or the Rise of Kingdoms. This is just amazing. Now, I don't want to do it right now because my marches are busy gathering. 
and as they gather i'm gonna take you guys to the next amazing feature that i like the most this one is one of my favorite in call of dragons when you are fighting your enemies you cannot see the exact number of people hitting a specific march but here in age of empires they make it so that you can see all the enemies that are targeting your legions i really really like this feature let's go to the island tactics and i show you guys exactly what i am talking about so we're gonna challenge this mode this is a nice pve event it is pretty good so over here you can challenge different legions now what i'm trying to say is when you are fighting your enemies in age of empire they have a small button on the right for each legion it will show you the number of enemies that each legion is fighting this is gonna make it easy for you to know which one of your legions is being targeted by multiple people in call of dragons or rise of kingdoms they only have one number here in the middle like at the bottom to show you all the things that are happening to your city someone could be scouting you and then five other people are attacking you and then if someone is scouting you it's going to block you from seeing all the five people that are attacking you sometimes you end up losing a lot of troops it is insane but over here in age of empires you see the numbers on the side so let me demonstrate over here we're gonna hit challenge and you guys are gonna see as you guys can see here richard is my tank he is fighting three people three people have targeted him the other guys are fighting one which means they are hitting just one target now this guy was targeted by two people so richard has been defeated i think i needed to make a proper lineup i lost this one but yeah let's see are we gonna win it not likely so we have two people attacking this legion and we can see what is going on so this is one of the awesome features that i like in the game it is absolutely amazing i wish they could bring it in call of dragons because it'll let you know exactly how many people are targeting a specific march and you can make some changes from there the next feature on the list is going to be the rally customization in age of empires mobile they allow you to customize your rallies and do some different things that will just make it pretty good let's see what we can do here i'm going to show you guys an example so we're going to go to the bag or maybe let me see if i can rally something from the screen here do we have anything anything to rally doesn't look like it what about this one right here can we roll it doesn't look like it so we're gonna go to the bag and then we're gonna summon something this is the black banner we're gonna summon one of these guys on the map and then we're gonna launch a rally attack now as you can see here there are many things i can do to the rally i have invite allies i can invite specific people to come to the rally if i want um we also have the advanced settings the enable rally queue you have rallying cannot join if the marching time exceeds the wait time i can toggle this on and off now battling marching time unlimited you can just change it if you don't want people to like join you late into the fight and then we also have auto dismiss dismiss extra troops dismiss extra troops if the limit is exceeded now dismiss troops with units fewer than this amount so this is pretty good guys i really like all the settings that you have here in the rally it is awesome i really like it i hope they could bring something like this in rise of kingdoms or the call of dragons you can also pick the recommended troop types and just show people i only want archers nothing else i only want this one nothing else so this game is just awesome it makes you um do different things with your rally and just get the best value when you fight on the field the final awesome feature that we're going to talk about in the video is going to be the number of building queues you have three building queues to build in this game i think they made it three because the town center goes all the way up to level 30 right now i am level 15 let's see 
when we hit the more information it's gonna go all the way up to level 30 i think that is why we have three building queues which is just awesome so these are all the awesome features in age of empires mobile that i really really like i hope some of them are introduced in call of dragons or rise of kingdoms after all these games have the similar mechanism so i don't see any reason why call of dragons cannot get some of the stuff that we see from here now before the game comes out we already have like vip 18 those who like to spend can go and get over there as fast as possible um there are so many things going on so many events so many stuff to do in the game that's pretty much it for the video guys let me know what you think do you guys like some of the features in this video game now the game is still in the early access it hasn't been released yet some of these features might not be there when the game comes out hopefully they get to keep everything that i just showed you here on the screen now let me know down below what you think of this brand new game are you gonna play it is it gonna be good for you let me know down below if you're new to the channel subscribe for more content until then talk to you guys in the next one bye bye for now